all right everyone welcome back to the channel a little windy out today but what we're going to talk about is the the power modifications you can do to your 5.7 and your 6.4 so it accounts for both engines uh, that you can do some of these mods so of course what we're going to do we're going to start off with a cold start Welcome back to the channel. Like I said, we're going to talk about the five mods uh, to really power up your Hemi, whether it's a 6.4 or a 5.7. But first thing, we got the BMR suspension on. We're going to put on the stickers. All right, everyone, we got the first one on, and here's what it looks like. All right, everyone, we're just going to take a quick trip with... Uh, shake and bake as we talk about the uh talk about the, the uh i think there's five of them that we're going to talk about and these are um some of them are high budget items some of them are a little bit lower budget items so this is you know not taking into account budget but these are the five big power adders that you can add to your six four or your five seven now some of the some of the specifications may be different, like the cam specs will be different. Um, you know, maybe the long tubes are different. Maybe the throttle body is a little bit different. But these, in general, these five five modifications are gonna are gonna be the ones that are gonna add power to your Hemi, uh, without a doubt. So let's get on to the first one. All right, the first one uh, we're gonna talk about throttle bodies. Now, throttle bodies aren't going to be a big power adder. You know, you may get 5, 10, maybe 15, if you're extremely lucky, uh, horsepower from a, uh, from a throttle body. Now, there's lots and lots of throttle bodies out there. Uh, there's many, many companies that, that make them. Uh, anywhere from, you know, you got BBK, you have uh, A2 Speed, you have uh, Fast Man. Like I said, there's many, many manufacturers out there. But the main one I've heard a lot of good things uh, coming out of is the Fast Man throttle body. So do your research, buy whatever you feel comfortable with. Uh, you know, the throttle body is gonna help you out with the next four mods as, again, all, all five of these go together to add gobs of power uh, to your Hemi. So the next one we're going to talk about is the intake manifold. Right? So for the five sevens, uh, and there's a lot of opinions out there. Uh, I got a lot of lot of feedback uh, between uh, between the channel and my Instagram on the 6.4 intake manifold for the five seven. Um, you know, go with your gut. Do what you need to do. Go with what you think is best for you. Uh, personally, I like the 6.4 manifold on my 5.7. It, uh, you know, boosts that mid-range, gets the power curve smoothed out, and keeps pulling uh, all the way through. So, you know, from an intake manifold for the 6.4s, you know, there's, there's, you know, a handful of those out there, right? Holly makes a new intake manifold for the Hemis. Um, Edelbrock also makes a uh, uh, intake manifold for the Hemis. Uh, I've heard some good things about the Edelbrock uh, Victor 2 as well. So you can put that, you know, you, get, you can get it for your 5.7, you can get it for your 6.4. Either one. Um, so that'll do it for the intake manifolds. Right? Again, you're not going to gain a whole bunch of power from an intake manifold. You know, maybe in that um, you know, 5 to 10 range, maybe 15 from an intake manifold. Uh, if you get it ported, right, you may get more towards that 15 range. 
So that'll do it for for the uh, the intake manifold. Let's go into cams, right? Cam, you can get gobs of power from your from from a new cam, both in the 6.4 and the 5.7. Some people disagree with me, but there's a lot of stuff out there that if you add a bigger cam to a 6.4, now you're not going to gain as much as you do from a 5.7. It's not, you know, not as as big a mod. So all these mods aren't as big a mods to the 6.4 as they are the 5.7. But the 6.4, you will see significant gains uh, from a different camshaft. And that's, there's a, there's hundreds of them out there too. MMX makes them, uh, you know, uh, um, Jay Green makes them, uh, Comp Cam makes them. You know, so you can get a custom grind spec from from just about anywhere and you can get you know a cam from wherever you want to get it from but a cam will add power uh, to your Hemi no doubt um, again do your research uh, I'm not gonna tell you which cam to buy but I do have the comp cam 270 uh, in my 57 and it is a beast uh, but I, I just suggest do your own research figure out which cam is best for you Talk to some mechanics. Talk to someone that knows that knows cams and knows the Hemi engines, um, and, and they can help you make a decision as well. So cams, you know, you can look anywhere 30, 40, 50, 60. Uh, you can see some people out there, you know, on YouTube uh, that, that that get significant power out of just just putting in a new cam. Um, you know cams can be pricey too and it depends whether you buy the whole kit or if you're just buying the cam uh, if you're just buying the cam they're relatively inexpensive uh, you know they're in the couple hundred dollar range especially if you for the five seven if you go for the six four cam it's only a couple hundred like two hundred two two hundred bucks I think three hundred bucks may even be cheaper than that uh, so you can get a decent cam fairly cheap um, and gain quite a bit of horsepower so we talked about throttle bodies we talked about intake manifolds we talked about the uh, and cam uh, let's talk about heads now heads getting poured and polished heads whether you port and polish the ones that are on your car or you buy new ported and poured and polished heads uh, you know again it's up to you there's multiple manufacturers of portable heads out there uh, ported and polished heads out there uh, again do your research uh, pick which one you feel is good for you uh, for me I picked up the HHP uh, BES stage 3 heads they cost me uh, $1,500 for both heads got them sitting in the garage that that video is coming soon I'm gonna figure out a way to get them done um, but heads, heads are another thing, right? They're gonna give you, you know, they could give you, you know, 20, 30, uh, somewhere there's about, depending on uh, lots of things. So, you know, the bowl size, the, uh, 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 the intakes, the, uh, you know, how well it's ported. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that go into heads, but you, you can get significant power uh, from doing your heads again take into account if you do all of these mods you're gonna get much bigger power gains uh, than than what you think um, so that'll do it for heads and the last thing we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about long tube headers so long tube headers Again, I've said this several times, for every one of them. Not a huge gain in power. Not a huge gain in power. But if you do all five, you will you will see a significant amount of power. Um, long tube headers. Again, multiple, multiple, multiple folks out there that make long tube headers. Do your research. <laughs> Pick out which one is, is best for you. And go with it, you know. There's um, headers. Headers can range, you know, from from 
a little less than a thousand to, to over a couple thousand depending on the manufacturers and how they're made the materials and things like that so they can be rather expensive um, but if you, you add them to the other four mods uh, you're gonna get those significant gains that you're looking for so to kind of wrap up what I just what we what we talked about we talked about five power adders uh, again not taking into consideration budget these are five power adders that will add power uh, to your Hemi first thing we talked about was the throttle bodies many different sizes many different manufacturers like I said depending on your build do your research uh, figure out which one's best for you throttle bodies they can range you know from a couple hundred bucks to six seven hundred bucks uh, so they're kind of in that mid-range uh, when it comes to modification all right the second thing we talked about was the intake manifold intake manifold again not a huge power adder uh, but added to everything else again added to everything else it will give you significant power uh, you know intake manifolds depending on whether you want to buy them new buy them used uh, can range anywhere from you know two three hundred bucks to eight nine hundred bucks uh, again you know do your research look at the different manufacturers and depending on how you're doing your build uh, you may want to go with a different manufacturer so that's it for the intake manifold so then we moved on to the cams uh, we talked about cams again depending on your build which way you want to go with your build uh, you, you may want to get a uh, you know a custom grime cam from you know Jay Green or you may want to get it from you know MMX or, or get it from you know from comp cams if you know how to spec out your own cam uh, so there's multiple cams out there and those uh, you know cams themselves can range from a couple hundred bucks to again you know over a thousand bucks the kits uh, can be you know two to three thousand dollars depending on which one you which one which one you choose uh, just to recap the heads yep heads are gonna add power ported and polished heads are gonna add power um, is it is this one of the cheaper ones no uh, again you could go from you know fifteen hundred dollars to several thousand dollars uh, depending on which heads you want to you want to put on uh, put on your Hemi and then the last one is the long tube headers just you know pick with them pick a manufacturer and go with them you know whatever fits in the budget you know from seven eight hundred dollars to uh, you know two thousand dollars anywhere in between so those are my five power outers that you can add to either one in either one six four or the five seven hemi and, and you're gonna get power especially if you do all five I uh, know it's expensive in the long run but you're, you're gonna get the power you're looking for um, so that's gonna do it for this video uh, you know if you're returning back watching the videos if you're already subscribed hey appreciate the support I uh, hope you continue to watch the videos hope the content uh, comes over to you as, uh, as good content and you want to keep watching those that are new to the channel hey if this uh, con if you like the content please hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that notification button so you get notifications when I upload new content and uh, I'm gonna hang on one sec we're going under the bridge let's see if we can get a uh you a little a little pull under the bridge there so like I said that's gonna do it for this one uh, and we'll see you next time